examples related to turning effect of force here we are having some examples means in our daily life where we are going to use this kind of concept so first we are having when you apply force on the handle of door whenever we are applying force on the handle of door in order to open it or close it the door always move about about its fixed points or pivoted points okay and when we are applying force and object start turning about the fixed point that is nothing but a turning effect moment of force or you can say torque okay next we are having second example related to this turning effect of force when you apply force using foot on the paddle of bicycle when we are applying the force on paddle of bicycle paddle start turning or start rotating about the fixed paddle axis so this applied force on the paddles and start paddle start turning about the fixed axis is turning effect of a force third example we are having when a key is put into a lock when we are going to put the key into a lock and when we apply force on the key this key start turning about the fixed point and this applied force on an object and object start turning about the fixed point is known as turning effect of force next we are having some examples and applications of moment of force some examples and applications means we are in our daily life we are going to see the moment of force that we are going to discuss one by one so first we are having a handle is fixed on a door at maximum possible distance from the hinge means from this hinge point or this pivoted point this handle is fixed at the maximum possible distance might be now you can guess why this handle is fixed at maximum possible distance because greater will be the perpendicular distance from the pivot and that of handle and greater will be the turning effect of force means by applying even though less force we can easily rotate the door about its fixed point that is why handle is always fixed at the maximum possible distance next we are having we prefer to use a spanner with long arm we always use a, spa a spanner with a long arm why because here we are having fixed point this is a pivoted point and from here from this point we are going to apply the force as you can see from the point of application of force and the pivoted point maximum possible distance is there if greater perpendicular distance will be there then greater turning effect will be there by applying even though less force that is why always we are using the long arm spanners in order to rotate it easily by applying less force next we are having a mechanic uses screw driver of long and thick arm same with the a uh, screwdriver also we are using the long and thick arm why because if there is a greater distance between the force applied and the pivoted point greater perpendicular distance means greater turning effect will be there and even though with less force it will move easily next we are having the hand operated floor grinder used in village home is provided handle near its rim what do you mean by rim rim is this rotational part means this is the rotational part and at the end of this rotational part we are having this kind of like hand is given on the floor grinder why this at the maximum possible distance this hand is given so that from this fixed point from this pivoted point if maximum possible distance will be there then more perpendicular distance means more turning effect will be there and even though by applying less force it can rotate very easily that is why it is given at the maximum possible distance near the rim this end point is known as rim okay next we are having potter's wheel in a potter wheel also potter is using the potter is having here the fixed point and from here he is applying the force why because maximum greater distance will be there here greater distance will be there perpendicular distance greater distance means more turning effect will be there if more turning effect means he has to apply less force and this uh, pot can rotate very easily next we are having example of seesaw as this central point fulcrum is a pivoted point this central point is a pivoted point and here we are having the force applied okay so here also the maximum possible distance is there between the pivoted point and the application of force maximum possible distance means maximum perpendicular distance means more is a turning effect and even though by applying less force turning effect will be more 